Good morning. It's Dennis Bontron, Mayor of the District of Lillooet. And this is one of our regular updates uh, and that we're going to be doing. And, and they're intended to keep the community informed about uh, positive ongoings and, pos and the projects that we're doing. 2013 saw the completion of several large projects, which marks the that we're coming to the end of a, a very aggressive five-year capital plan uh, that's intended to address some of the major uh, infrastructure issues that we have in the community. The first one that was completed was phase one of the water source replacement project. This included water meters, distribution piping, seat and fan wells and piping, the lift, the high lift building with chlorination and UV treatment. Also, we completed a value engineering study of the next phases of the project, resulting in design efficiencies and a savings to the overall cost of the project. Was Phase two of the project was also started by tender in 2013, and the Seton River intake portion of phase two was awarded, with construction beginning in early January. This $10 million plus project is 100% funded by the federal gas tax program. As well, the Town Creek Storm Upgrade Project was completed, was started in the winter of 2013, and piping portion of the project com completed early in the spring of 2013. The new inlet, inlet structure was completed in November of 2013, and the flow monitoring of Town Creek is due to be completed in early 2014. The storm pipe upsizing and new inlet structure was installed to prevent flooding in the downtown core and in the hospital areas during the spring melt-off and runoff, And in addition to that, it was constructed in such a way that in the future, we can carry on with that water that we're capturing there down to the water treatment plant that's in the uh, park area. <clears throat> this project was, was, the total cost of this project was $742,000, partly funded by Tier 2 gas tax and the District of Lillwood. Additionally, the wastewater treatment plant upgrade reached a substantial completion uh, uh, by mid-September of 2013. The installation of the Arab, the Arab uh, digester will increase the performance efficiency of the wastewater treatment plant and decreasing uh, operational costs fairly substantially. Smaller on, bolt-on components will be completed in early 2014. The total project cost of this project is $650,000 $650, funded by Tier 2 gas tax and the District of Lillooet. And finally, we are at, la at the last phase of the Community Well Fire Protection Plan. I'm sure starting in 2013, you've seen the smoke and the fires around the community and in the community that are designed to uh, remove and burn the waste wood materials that pose a, fi a fire hazard. These crews were assigned treatment areas in the fall of 2013 and the project will be completed in the fall of 2014. There are essentially three crews, one funded by the District of Lillooet, well they're all funded by the District of Lillooet, but one works for the District of Lillooet. Uh, the Cayuse Band also has a team working on this project as and, and so has Pekin. <coughs> the, uh, the entire project was funded 80% uh, by the UBCM federal grant program and the District of Lowland. In total, these projects completed total $6,292,000 at a total cost to the taxpayer of approximately $800,000. Without such an aggressive infrastructure program, the district lacked the capacity to deal with future economic development needs and expansion and, and these will also greatly increase the safety and health in the community. As mayor, I hope, I hope you found this, informative, this update informative and uh, we will be carrying on with these uh, periodically as we go forward. Thank you very much and have a good day.